Today's Bible study is titled Thanksgiving and Conduct for the Sake of Others. Today, we begin hanging out in 1 Thessalonians for a few days. This will be our first dashboard study. In computer software, a dashboard is an information management approach that typically offers high-level information in one view and thus I've appropriated this name for our level of study. In all probability, 1 Thessalonians was the Apostle Paul's first epistle followed by 2 Thessalonians and then Galatians. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith, and labor of love, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, brethren beloved, your election of God. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. 1 Thessalonians 1 verses 2 to 5 KJV Early on, Christ had provided Paul with the revelation of the mystery. But Christ continued to provide further revelation to Paul thereafter, with the crown jewels, revelation of body of Christ instruction provided in what is Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians, and Philemon. After this came the revelation as contained in Paul's epistles to Timothy and Titus. Regardless of the timing of 1 Thessalonians, a powerful message of confirmation and love is herein provided by Christ through the Apostle Paul for the Thessalonian believers and also knowing the manner of men that Paul demonstrated among the Thessalonians for those who would be ambassadors for Christ. Let's break this down. Paul opens by noting that he gives thanks and makes mention in his prayers for all that had come to know slash receive his preaching of the gospel of grace through the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16, 25b. He then notes some of the fruit that God has since produced among the Thessalonian believers, including their, 1, work of faith, 2, labor of love, and, 3, patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ knowing their election of God. Election, as noted here is not as some preach slash teach, excluding some people from an opportunity of salvation. Rather, the elect or the election of God pertains to anyone who, upon hearing the gospel, believes that this was for them and by grace through faith are saved. We know this to be the case because of Christ's word through Paul to Timothy, saying that God will have all men to be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4 Finally, as to how our gospel brought the Thessalonian believers to the status of elect, it did not come to them in word only, but also in power demonstrated by the Holy Spirit. Further Paul states the gospel presentation to them was, and in much assurance as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. This was a consistent matter of conduct for Paul in his carrying out his apostleship to the Jew and Gentile alike, a conduct that was specifically for the sake of those who would hear or read the message of grace given Paul to dispense. Believer, conduct yourselves in a manner consistent with being Christ's ambassador for the sake of others with thanksgiving. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.